Blogger Robert Ali will on Monday be charged in court for posting false information over coronavirus. Ali was arrested on Friday and taken to Muthaga police station where he was locked up over the weekend. In his post, Ali had claimed that the government was concealing crucial information in relation to the spread of coronavirus COVID-19, and that the impact of the disease was much more pronounced than the government was portraying it. He is accused of contravening the Computer Misuse and Cyber Crimes Act 2018, which prohibits the publication of unverified information. The law spells penalties in forms of fines or jail terms for such offenders. Section 22 1, of the law states, a person who intentionally publishes false, misleading or fictitious data or misinforms with the intent that the data shall be considered or acted upon as authentic, with or without any financial gain, commits an offence and shall, on conviction, be liable to a fine not exceeding 5 million shillings or to imprisonment for a term not exceeding two years, or to both. On March 19, Thursday, before Ali's arrest and questioning, Health Cabinet Secretary Mutai Kag fired a chilling warning to those he accused of peddling lies about the government's handling of the virus. Kag warned of arrests saying that misinformation was jeopardizing the government's efforts to fight COVID-19. We will proceed to arrest a number of them to prove our point, and of course since they want something to report regarding coronavirus, we will oblige by taking them to Mbagathi where they can report the matter. Because that's where the issue of coronavirus can be handled, he said, adding that, persons in the social media are causing concern and panic among citizens. Yesterday, Ali subtly criticized CS Kag and appeared to stand by his earlier tweet. Ali, who commands huge social media following also mocked national prayers for coronavirus which was held in State House on Saturday when he tweeted, 